Hey guys, this one's going to be a tutorial one. I will explain you how to integrate Yodo One Mass SDK in your game and start earning more money than you earn with Unity Ads or AdMob with the lowest effort possible. So let's begin. I guess this tutorial will be pretty straightforward. And the first thing that you will need to do, you will have to go in the description of this video and press the link to get registered with Yodo One Mass. You will see this page uh, where you have to fill in all of the fields, email address, your name, a second name and uh, your company name if you have one. If you don't, then you can just copy and paste your name again, your phone number and create the passwords. Then we'll be able to get to the next step of basically adding your game to the dashboard. And now let's start with that one. Okay guys, first thing that you will need to do once you've created profile with Yoda One Mass is basically to go and add a new game here. So you will start by pressing this button in the top, add new game. And here you have basically two options. One option is if your game already live on the App Store or Google Play, or if you don't have the game live yet, you can basically skip this step uh, by pressing this button. I will do it for now. So because here you will need to add a link if the game is live. So let's just skip it for now. And then let's create the name for my game, my first game. Then I'll press next and then I'll need to choose a platform because you will need to add separately games to both of the platforms for an Android and for iOS. So first I'll go with Android. Let's press next. And then uh, you will need to choose the screen orientation of your game. Let it be portrait for now. Next thing is how did you build your game? If you build your game with Unity like I did, you can select this option. You can also have other options like Android, Buildbox, Godot, Flutter, React Native, Unreal Engine as well. I know some of you were asking if Mass supports integration with Unreal Engine and yes, it does. And Cocos as well. I will go with Unity one. So let's press next. And here in the, this one, we'll need to choose the type of ad that we are planning to integrate in our game. I will choose banner, interstitial and rewarded, the very typical ones. You can also add native ads. If you don't know what native ads are, is basically, for instance, if you're building a racing game and you have a racing track and there are some billboards along the track and you can basically display native ads on those billboards while player are driving the car. So uh, they are kind of integrated in the level of the game. You can also add app open ads which are the ads that are displayed on the launch of your game. I will just stick with these three because I normally use those ones. And I'll press next then. So now it says new game added, uh, the name and app key that you will need later. Then you can press manage game. And here's the new game that it's been added. And you will need to make all of these red ones and yellow ones greens like I have for my other games. But I will show how to do that a bit later in this video. So right now let's press manage. And here, once your game is live, you can basically copy and paste the link. For instance, like I will show you how I do it now. I'll just copy the link. I'll just paste it here. And then I can press save. So what else can we manage here? We can go to ad management and you can add other types of ads later on or you can uncheck them. Also one important thing, so when you just create your game, it's going to be in test mode, which you will after your game is live, after you tested the integration, after you see that everything is working correctly, you can turn it off. So you start actually earning money with it because in test mode, it's just basically just for you to understand if integration is working correctly. So the next step is basically download the latest SDK we're going to integrate in our Unity project. So let's just download the SDK. Let's go to the Unity integration. And here I will leave the link in the description where to find the SDK itself. And you just press this download button. Uh, you will be able to download it here. Yeah, I'll just replace mine. So once we downloaded our SDK, let's import it to our project. So let's go to assets, import package, custom package. Let's choose the Yoda Mass SDK. And here, let's just press import. 
After it's been imported to our project, let's press OK. And here in the top bar, you will see that Yodo One tab appeared. So let's go to Mass, Mass Settings, and let's press Android Settings. So here uh, you will probably have nothing in these fields and you'll need to fill them in. So where to get this mass app key and add, add mob app ID. So let's go back to the dashboard and here is your key. You basically click to copy it. Then you go back to your Unity project and then you just paste it here. You will see that add mob app ID automatically updated. Then you can press save configuration. So now we have to create an ad manager that's going to control how ads appear in our game. And in this particular example, I have three different types of ads, interstitial, rewarded, and banner ads that are going to be shown in the game. By the way, I'm going to add these scripts that I'm using for showing ads in the game. I will add them in the link in the description of the video so you can use it for your own projects. So let's get into what it has inside. So what the ad manager does. Basically, it has a couple of sections. The first one in the start function, we are going to initialize banner, interstitial, and rewarded ads. After that, we're loading interstitial ads and loading rewarded ads, and we are starting to show banner right away. After that, we have a couple of functions that's basically related to those, initializing banner, showing banner, um, hiding banner, initializing interstitial ads, loading interstitial ads, because we have to preload them before sh showing them. The same comes to the rewarded one, so we have to preload rewarded that. After that, we can show it safely to user, show rewarded ads uh, function here. And once it was shown, uh, we'll need to reward the user with the rewards that we have in our game. All right, so as we are here in the reward section, I'm going to briefly explain you how I have rewards set up in my project. So I have this. UI manager and it has different functions that are related to giving rewards to players. But for the simplicity of this example, I'm going to explain you only how I give one particular reward to player, basically hiring a new helper to help player perform his tasks. So I have these two functions, basically uh, add higher stuff and another one higher stuff result. The first function is bound to the button that calls the reward at that. The second one is basically giving the reward. It's for spawning a new helper. So how it works. In the first function, which is bound to the button, I set a bool of new helper to true. And then right away, I'm calling show rewarded ads. Once the rewarded ad was shown, I'm giving the reward to user and I'm spawning a new helper that's happening here. And you can use it as a reference for your own project. Right now, I will show you how it works in the game. So let's check it out. Let's see how it works. I have this UI and I have this function at higher stuff bound to this button. So once I press this button to watch an ad and once the rewarded ad has finished, I will be granted with a new helper. Here you go. Because this function gets called. So this is how I set up rewarded ads in my project. And you probably have seen that I have this banner in the bottom of my screen. Let me tell you how I show this one. So if we go back to the ad manager and if we scroll to the very top of the script. Uh, here in the store function uh, where we get banner initialized, we also call banner. So this is where we call banner and that's why it shows right away. We also reshow banner here on enable function because if you switch between scenes, it probably gets destroyed and never reappears. That's why I have it on enable. Uh, another thing, if you want to hide the banner, for instance, if you have enough purchase to remove ads and banners from your game, then you can call function hide banner. So it disappears right away. And if you want to control the size and the position of your banner, you can go to the function show banner. And here you have different options uh, that you can show. Uh, you can just basically change banner 
left banner, right banner, top. This is where you control the position of your banner. And this is where you can control the size of your banner. Because there's adaptive banner, banner, large banner, smart banner, different, different kinds of banner that you can use for your game. And the last type of ad that we are going to show to our players are interstitial ads. And I have separate controller for it, which is which I called interstitial controller. And also I will add this script in the description of the video so you can download it and use it in your own project. So what this script does, basically every 20 seconds or every interval that you set yourself, it will show an ad to player. Also, it has an initial delay of 15 seconds or any kind of amount that you set here. It's going to show the very first ad with a delay of 50, 15 seconds and the rest of the ads that are going to be shown with a cooldown of 20 seconds. Let's see how it works. It has two stages. One stage is to prepare, to preload an interstitial ad. And the second stage is to show an interstitial ad to user. And within the interval of 20 seconds, it's, it preloads the ad. And after that, after 1.5 seconds, it shows an ad to player. Let's see how it works within our game. I'm just going to start the game now. So as you can see here, we have here the timer. And once the timer goes zero, there will be another timer that will show 1.5 seconds. After that, the ad will appear. Yeah, as you can see, the ad just appeared. Then once we close interstitial ad, uh, the timer goes on again and it just repeats itself. So this way we can basically set up any interval between ads and basically that's it. All right, now as we have all our ads implemented, let's go and make a build. But before we make a build, we need to check a couple of important settings. So first of all, let's go to the Assets, External Dependency Manager, Android Resolver, and press Settings here. Here you will need to copy the checkboxes that I have checked and the ones are unchecked. So use Gradle Daemon, unchecked. Enable Auto Resolution, unchecked. Disable Main Template Gradle Prompt, unchecked. Use full custom local Maven repo path when building an Android app through Unity unchecked and verbose login unchecked as well. The rest has to be checked. Then once you've done with this one, press OK. And then you'll need to go to the project settings. And here in the project settings, we need to check a couple of checkboxes. Custom main Gradle template checked. Then custom Gradle properties template checked. After that, we'll need to go to other settings. And here in the other settings, and if you're building with the same Unity version and with the same mass SDK that I currently have, so you will need to change the minimum API level to API 24. So you don't have any Gradle build problems. After that, you'll go back to the publishing settings. And here, let's go to assets, external dependency manager and press force resolve. Once you get this pop-up, Android Dependencies Resolution succeeded, you will also need to check if you have this checkbox checked, uh, custom Gradle settings template. Once it's done, we press OK, and then you go to the build settings and press build, and you'll be fine. So once you made the build and saw that all of the ad types are working properly, then you can upload your game to Google Play. And then once your game is uploaded to Google Play, you will need to go to your Yodamass dashboard, go to your game tab, then go to ads management, and you'll need to turn your test mode off. And then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, the next morning, the next day, you'll be able to check how your game is performing and how many impressions you got and how much money you already earned with the other one mass mediation. That's pretty much it. And if this video was helpful to you or you still have some questions regarding the implementations, let me know in the comments below the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.